In this video, we are going to have a look at how to block access to the command prompt on a Windows 11 machine by using Intune. To set the scene, I have a Windows 11 machine over here, which is joined into Enter ID and it is also enrolled into Intune. Um, as you can see, I have the command prompt already open on this particular machine. Let's just type in a command just to make sure that it works. Let's say IP config, so I get the IP address. So this particular machine has access to the command prompt at the moment. So let's configure a policy which kind of blocks access to the command prompt for machines that are enrolled into Intune. So for that, let's go into Intune admin portal, which is intune.microsoft.com. Click on devices on the left-hand menu. Uh, we go into platform by platform and we select Windows configuration policy. So what we need is to create a configuration policy which sets the setting to block access to the command prompt for the machines that are in that particular scope or for the users who come under the scope of that particular policy. So as you can see, we have a few policies that we have already created as part of the video series. Let's create a new one to block access to the command prompt. So we click on create and we say new policy. We wait for the platform details to load. So on the platform, we select Windows 10 and later. And in the profile type, we go for settings catalog and we click on create. Now let's give a sensible name for the profile policy, block command prompt for Windows. That's good enough. Platform is grayed out because we have already pre-selected that. So Windows 10 and later. Click the next button. And here we get the option to select the settings that we want. So we click on the add settings option, which brings up the picker for us. Now we are trying to block access to the command prompt. So let's just type in command to see what all options we get and wait for the search to come back. So we have quite a few uh, settings uh, related to the command prompt or related to command. So let's go with the one that we need, which is administrative templates and system. So if you double click on that one, it loads the subcategory on the bottom pane. So here we have two options, prevent access to the command prompt and disable the command prompt script processing also. So select that option. Now, once you select that, the option gets added on the left-hand side of the window. So this is where we make the changes. So we toggle the option and say enabled, which means prevent access to the command prompt. We are enabling that, which means the users won't have access to the command prompt. And we are keeping the command prompt script processing to set to no, because in case we have any script processing going on, which is being pushed out using Intune, that still needs to run. If you don't have anything, you can block that one as well. But in my case, I'm just going with a default value of no and click next. Scope tags are completely optional as we have seen so far in the video series. So let's click on next. And next one is the assignments. This is where we specify the scope of the policy to which number of users or to which devices are these policies going to be applied. So here, let's go with all users. In my case, you can always go with add, add groups and select the groups that you want. Uh, so that you can control the deployment and if you're happy with it you know you can progress to all the users that you have in the organization in my case it's a it's a demo lab so let's go with all the users click on next and you get a summary of everything that we have seen so far so we are blocking the command prompt for windows these are the two settings that we are pushing out to the windows machine preventing access to the command prompt which is enabled and we are applying it to all the users let's click on create button for the policy to be created so it gets created straight away, as you can see on the top right hand side, policy is created. Let's refresh the button to bring the policy in the list. There it is. Now we need to sync the Intune settings so that we can speed up the testing process. So for that, we can just push the sync option from the Intune portal and we can do the same from the device as well. So let's go back into devices on the left hand side to sync the settings. Let's go into Windows. Let's find the machine that we want to test on. So let's click on that. Wait for the properties page of the machine to load. And over here we have the option to sync. So we click on the sync button and it says Intune will attempt to check in with the device. And if the check-in is successful, it will start to sync the current actions or policies to that particular device. Would you like to continue? We click on yes. So this is similar to the GP update slash force that we are used to in the Active Directory world in which we want to force the policy refresh. So here we are trying to force the sync rather than waiting for the device to check in periodically. Now the same can be done from the end user machine as well by the user. 
what we could do is let's just close out of teams and close the command prompt we go into settings as an end user click on the settings panel click on accounts on the left hand side click on access work or school option expand the entra id option click on the info button that we have and find the option that says sync so we have the sync button here click on that one so this triggers the sync from the end user machine so it kind of reaches out to the intune backend endpoint and tries to pull the information and bring down any settings or applications that particular machine might have so let's wait for the sync to complete and we'll check whether we have blocked access to the command prompt successfully all right the sync has been completed so let's close the settings window and let's just check whether we have successfully blocked access to the command prompt or not so from the start menu click on run type in cmd wait for it to load okay it loads fine and then it says the command prompt has been disabled by your administrator press any key to continue when you press the key it just closes the command prompt so this is how you block access to the command prompt on a Windows 11 machine which has been enrolled into Intune by using a configuration policy. So if this video is of interest to you, please do check out my other videos on the channel and consider subscribing to the channel as I upload videos on a daily basis around Microsoft 365, Intune, Azure, Windows, PowerShell and general IT stuff. Thank you.